Because remember, the Lord ain't doing with anybody else. All right? The Lord has his people, and that's all he's dealing with. Okay? And set them in their own land. He's going to put us back in the land of Israel, the land of Jerusalem. Okay? Because right now, who dwells there is Esau, Edom. So the Lord is going to take us and put us back in our land. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. He's going to put us back in Jerusalem. All right? After that place is nuked. Okay? After the Lord brings fire upon the earth. Because he is. The Lord is going to burn this place up. It says, And the strangers shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Those strangers are talking about Israelite foreigners. Alright? Those are the strangers that are going to be joined unto, they're going to cleave unto us. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of Yahweh, the land of Israel, Jerusalem, for servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives, whose captives they were. And they shall rule over their oppressors. So the Lord going to gather the elect, the Israelites, the one third. We're going to come together. We're going to click up. We're going to be one big happy family again. It's not going to be no more uh, uh, blacks killing uh, Hispanics. Hispanics killing Hispanics killing blacks. We ain't going to be like that no more. Okay. It's going to be Israelites putting other nations in slavery. Putting other nations to death. No? Right? Take them captives. Whose captives we were. We were captive under every nation. Okay? Starting with Esau. You know? And it shall come to pass in that day that Yahweh by me outside shall give thee rest from thy sorrow and from my fear, and from the hard bondage wherein thou was made to serve, that thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon, and say, How let the oppressor cease, the golden city cease. Yahweh Bashemi Alashai hath broken the staff of the wicked, and the scepter of the rulers. That's what we're doing right now is out here in your face, man. Be out here improper proclaiming this message. That you're finished. Your kingdom is over with. Alright? The Lord is undoing our captivity. That's why you got so many brothers out there preaching the same thing. Preaching the word of the Lord. You know, you have the uh, apostle Tahar come out with the with the question. You know, I guess there's um some stuff going around the news about how many Israelite camps there are, or how many Israelites there are preaching this word. Well, to be honest, the Israelites are innumerable. Okay. There's so many Israelites you can't number them. But when it comes to those that are actually doing the work of the Lord, like the Apostle said, there, there's, there's got to be over 100,000 camps, man. Over a hundred thousand Israelite groups doing the work. Now, the prophets are one hundred forty-four thousand, but there is a one-third. So not every single man out there is part of the one forty-four. But a lot of those men could be one-third. You know, doing this work, believing the Lord. Okay. It's all about those that believe. Yahweh I said believe. All right? So back in this, verse 7. Well, actually, what do I have? Isaiah 14. Yeah, 4 and 5. Isaiah 14, 4 and 5. 
you know, the Lord is, is, is breaking this all down now. This man can't come against us and stop us from doing this. You know, as of right now, he can't. He can't say, oh, no more hooch, no. But they're going to try. And real soon, they are going to demonize us. They are going to try to shut this word up. But it ain't up to them, man. It's up to Yahweh, why Yahweh shut. But this man is definitely being hurt. man is definitely being hurt. You got regular, regular Jake's calling him the devil. Regular Israelites calling him Esau. All right? He's being revealed, as it tells you in 2nd Ezra. We're going to get 2nd Thessalonians right here. This is 2nd Thessalonians 2 and 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, which happens. You know, we fell away from our heritage and who we are. That's what that happened. And that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. And that man of sin is being revealed right now. So that's why there's so much uh, talk about the real Jews being black. Okay, about them uh, not being the real Jews. You know, Esau, Edom, which is true. This man is being revealed at a super all-time high. He's being revealed that he's Esau, Edom, which that's his main weapon. His main weapon is deception, keeping people blinded, keeping people in the dark of what's going on. As it says, he's the covering cast. The veil that's been placed over the eyes of all people. And that veil is being undone. Okay? That veil is coming to knock. So you got like these cholos, you know, Mexican gang members. They're actually coming out and saying that we're not Mexican. That the Aztecs weren't Mexican. The Aztecs were Israelites. They were Hebrews. They built the pyramids and all that, just like the ancient uh, Israelites built the pyramids in Egypt. Because we're the same people. Okay. And that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposes and exalted himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he, as God, sits in the temple of God, Showing himself that he is God. You see? And that's what he's doing in the eyes of the world. Saying that he's the holy people. He's the righteous. He's the Israelite. That God's a, that God's a white man. That Jesus is a white man. And it made it that much easier for him to call, conquer us and colonize us during the 1400s, 1500s. Okay. The Renaissance era. Okay, where you had the icons being whitewashed. Where you had Gad, Reuben, Ephraim, Manasseh, Simeon, Issachar, Asher. All the tribes getting, getting uh, captivated, man. Getting afflicted by this devil. Okay, he beat us down. Push that Catholicism on us and say, You're nothing but an animal. Here, God sets up to, to uh, rehabilitate you, to teach you, to teach you uh, uh, how to conduct yourself as a human. That's what this devil did. That's what he did to us. Not knowing, okay, that we were the chosen, that we are the chosen. This is Genesis 49 and 1. And Jacob called him to his sons and said, Gather yourselves together, that I may tell you what shall befall you in the last days. And we're living in the last days. Uh, in the end times. It says, Gather yourselves together and hear 
the sons of Jacob can hearken unto Israel, your fathers. To hearken unto them. Because yeah, our forefathers are prophets. Jacob, which is Israel, Isaac, Abraham, those are prophets. Remember, we're a nation of kings and priests, holy prophets. It says, Reuben, thou art my firstborn, which the Reuben, the Reubenites, are the Seminole Indians of Florida. Reuben, thou art my firstborn, my might, the beginning of my strength, the excellency of dignity, and the excellency of power. Unstable as water, thou shalt not excel, because thou wentest up to thy father's bed. Then the fellows thou it, he went up to my couch. And Reuben, the Seminole Indians, you know, that was the first son. Okay? And your firstborn is supposed to be the one to receive the inheritance. You're supposed to be an heir to the father. So when the father passed away, his firstborn son is supposed to receive his belongings, his business, his house, his land, his money, and it's supposed to divide it. You know? But because what Reuben did, he defiled his father's bed by sleeping with his father's concubine. Okay? Reuben went and slept with one of his father's women. So he got cursed. He got cursed from receiving that, uh, from being the first in line to receive the, 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 the inheritance. Okay. And for being the, the, the head tribe. Okay. Unstable as water, thou shalt not excel. And the, 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 the Seminole Indians, they're known for always migrating. They're known for not being, having a stable uh, a spot where they camp, where they, where they live. And they showed that during the uh, Amer American Indian Wars. They showed that when Esau was killing the Native Americans and killing Reuben. That Reuben would be constantly on the move in those marshes, in the... Uh, in the swamp regions of the south, southeast America, Louisiana, Florida, you know, that region, you know, Reuben was constantly on the go fighting against Esau. They're showing you the, the excellency of, of, of the power of, of Abraham, of Esau, yeah, of, of Jacob, showing that because they did not make any deals with Esau. They did not bow down. They fought until the end. Crazy. Verse 5. Simeon and Levi are brethren. Where Simeon is the Dominicans and Levi are the Haitians. So they are brethren. Instruments of cruelty are in their habitation. And it means they're brethren also because they share the same land. You know. Hispaniola. All right. Hispaniola is that island of Haiti and the Dominican Republic. Before they split it up, it was called that Hispaniola. That's what it means by Simeon and Levi are brethren. Okay. And they are brethren when it comes to bloodline as well. Twelve tribes were, were brothers. All right, we're brothers and sisters, man. So it reads Simeon and Levi are brethren. Instruments of cruelty are in their habitations, just going into witchcraft. Okay. Simeon, the Dominicans, they have a form of witchcraft they use called uh, called uh, Santeria, Brujeria. And then the Haitians, Levi, got a form of witchcraft too. And they call it voodoo. All right. Black magic. You know. If you look at uh, on YouTube, go on YouTube and type in uh, witchcraft, the Caribbean, things of that nature, it should pop up. The 
los sueños. 